Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2023 Subaru Crosstrek, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Hopkins Custom Fit Trailer Wiring Harness. Before we do that though, let's just take a minute, check it out and make sure it's gonna be right for you. So, uh, you know, with these Subarus, people do a lot of different things with them and that does include pulling some trailers around. And if that's what you plan on doing, you're gonna need a way to power up the lights on that trailer so you're safe and legal. And that's where a kit like this is gonna come into play. So what's kind of neat uh, about wiring for the Crosstrek, you can uh, have it mounted up outside, down by your trailer hitch, um, or you can actually store it inside the vehicle. And that's how ours is set up today. And so, you know, if you don't use it all that often, or, um, uh, you know, just want to have a cleaner appearance back here, or just keep the wiring out of the elements, this will be a great way to do it. So I just have ours stored underneath our floor covering there. When you're ready to use it, you drop it down, just keep away from the latch mechanism, and close the hatch on it. it might seem kind of odd doing that, uh, but it's designed to be able to do that. You're not gonna hurt the wires, you're not gonna hurt your hatch or anything like that. And now we're gonna have that connection point so we can plug our trailer in. So this is going to be a four-way flat type harness, uh, really common to the types of trailers that the cross truck will be pulling around, or likely to at least smaller, medium-sized ones. So we get all your basic functions, uh, your tail lights, your turn signals, as well as your stop lights. So all your bases are covered there. And one thing I noticed with this one, you don't get a ton of wiring length here. I mean, it's still enough to be able to get your trailer plugged in and everything but a little bit more would have been nice. Um, and that's kind of one of the main differences compared to some of the other wiring kits available, like the Takancha and the Kurt, for example. Those are, are quite a bit longer, so gives you a little more working room there, especially if you know, your wiring on the trailer side is shorter or something like that. So uh, just something to think about. But other than that, at the end of the day, you know, there's not really a whole lot to it. Um, you know, light up your trailer uh, lights and uh, that way people know what you plan on doing when you're towing it down the road. As far as installation goes, it does not get, get much more straightforward than this. Um, you take a couple floor coverings out of the back and locate the factory plug. This plugs right in. You, you secure the wiring and everything, and that's really all there is to it. So just about anyone should be able to do this, but if you'd like to hang around, we'll go ahead and get started on it now. To begin our installation, we're here at the back of our Subaru and we need to open up the hatch and we're going to locate a factory connector plug, which should be kind of underneath a few things over here in this area. So we'll first get all of our floor coverings out of the way. We can remove this foam piece now. So there's two plastic fasteners, just like this one. With these, I kind of break easy, so I found a trick that seems to work pretty good. If you take a trim tool like this, you can use a flathead screwdriver too, but apply a little downward pressure on it with your thumb at the same time. You're kind of prying up on this to release that clip. And I'll pull this one out too. That one actually come right out, but we can get this uh, out of her way. And then this little panel here I believe kind of just unsnaps. We'll get that removed too. Remove this threshold piece. All right, so on each end of it, you're gonna have a push pin style fastener. Just pry underneath the head, work it out. And I removed that one on the other side of it already. It's the same exact thing. And now we can grab our threshold and just pop it up. So just some clips for holding that into position there. That's what uh, that noise was you heard, but with this free, we can set it off to the side. With that threshold out of the way, that exposed the factory connector plug there. So it's usually kind of taped up. I just pulled that tape off, make it easier to work with. And so it's really simple. Uh, our new trailer wiring harness, one of the ends is gonna match up with the factory connector. And you'll just plug that right in. Before we put our panels back and mount everything up, I figured it'd be a good idea just to test the wiring to make sure that it's working properly. I like to use a small tester, 
but you can use your trailer. Keep in mind though, if your trailer has any issues, it might mislead you. And I'm thinking it's something you did on your vehicle side. But with that in mind, we'll try our left turn signal, our right turn signal. We'll hit our brakes and turn on our running lights. Now that we verified this works, we can get it mounted. So um, with this setup, we're gonna keep ours on the inside, meaning that our four-way connector will stay stored on the inside until we're ready to use it. And then we'll drape it over like this. So since this wire is relatively short, I wanna mount this kind of close to the middle. Um, this can be, you know, routed outside and everything. Um, and underneath the spare tire, there's usually some big rubber grommets that you could use to kind of pass everything through. If you do that though, be careful to avoid hot and moving parts because the exhaust does set relatively close to there. So something to keep in mind, but um, what we're gonna do is use some two-sided sticky tape. So you will have to grab this separately, but really no other great way to do it with this setup here, at least very easily, in my opinion. But I'll uh, peel this off and just stick it to our vehicle here. Once this is mounted, you know, you can kind of take your extra wiring and bundle it up, kind of zip tie it out of the way. Uh, that way it doesn't interfere with anything. And at this point, we can take the panels that we removed and simply just reinstall them the opposite way that we removed them. So once you're all wrapped up, you are good to go. And that will finish up our look at and our installation of the Hopkins Custom Fit Wiring Kit on our 2023 Subaru Crosstrek.